The U.S. Supreme Court is set to issue two major rulings that could impact student loan debt and college admissions. As soon as tomorrow, we could learn whether affirmative action will become a thing of the past. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner talked with local experts on both cases. Incoming Columbia Law School student Andrew Brennan says affirmative action played a role in his admission. In many ways, it's a dream come true. Um, I always wanted to go to law school, but was never sure how to make the economics work. He was awarded a full scholarship from the NAACP Legal Defense Fund so he can one day practice civil rights. Soon, the Supreme Court will decide whether race can continue to be used as a factor in college admissions. Legal expert Andrew Lieb explains what could happen if it's struck down. Would you just ignore someone's background when they wrote the admission letter? So then the slippery slope is, do we need to get rid of admissions letters? Already at least nine states States have policies that do not allow race to count in university admissions. It will really mitigate our ability to create the kind of diversity that is beneficial for the society moving forward. The Supreme Court is also considering whether people like Bushwick resident Sean Miller can have thousands of dollars in federal student loans forgiven thanks to a Biden administration program now on hold as it's challenged by several Republican led states. I have uh, roughly $65,000 um, in student loan debt. The average student loan debt here is pretty close to $40,000. Biden's plan forgives up to $20,000 in debt. 40 million Americans would qualify and about half would be completely debt free according to the Department of Education. Law professor Noah Rosenblum. So the objection to the plan is that the Department of Education doesn't have the statutory authority to implement its debt forgiveness plan. Miller's organization, Young Invincible, says more than half of borrowers are under the age of 35. When I do get a job, like, and that starts saving and then paying. American government, they do bail out businesses um, out of hundreds of millions of dollars. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says one in five borrowers have risk factors that could cause them to struggle to pay bills. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.